Hello great people, welcome back to our channel. We're so excited to have you again. Still on the issue of Igbo presidency come 2023, one man has come out so strong to declare his intention to become the Igbo president come 2023 and there were multiple reactions to it. One of those that reacted was Ininaya Baribe and also Wabara who was a former Senate president. But shockingly, a particular group came and lambasted both of them and uh, they were really angry why uh, Ayim, Pius Ayim, had to get that level of support, especially from uh, Eninaya Baribe and the rest. And, you know, for many, that was like people with no more support, you know, Ayim, Pius Ayim, because of all of that, you understand? But right now, a governor, a sitting governor in the southeast, Despite all of that, that controversy, has also thrown his support to Ayim Pius Ayim, and you'll be shocked the words he used in qualifying him. We're going to be looking at all of that in a jiffy, and also consider some other uh, individual, especially of Igbo extraction, who are interested in presidency come 2023 but before we give you full details of that we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos now according to the news governor okeze ikbezu of abia state has declared described senator ayim pious ayim as the man best fitted to become president of nigeria in 2023 Igwezu said that Anyim, who is a People Democratic Party PDP presidential aspirant, is one of the best and eminent qualified to lead the country and restore Nigeria to the path of glory. Igwezu made the remark when Anyim paid him a New Year visit at his country home in Ngwa Abia State on Sunday. Governor Igbezu noted that based on Ayim's pedigree as former Senate President and former Secretary to the Government of the Federation, he was one Nigerian eminently qualified to lead the country and restore Nigeria to prosperity. The role Ayim had played at different times placed him at a vantage position to understand the challenges of the country and how to solve them better. The Abia State Governor, however, described Ayim not to forget to market the enviable credential which he would bring to bear in the presidency of Nigeria as an Igbo man, stating that an average Igbo man has the tendency of turning a, des a desert into a fertile land once given an opportunity. The challenges in Samisa Forest will easily become a business opportunity for an Igbo man as he would quickly create an economic heaven that will even disarm the terrorists. He further advised Ayim to work hard to restore the trust and confidence of other segments of the country on the ability and sincerity of Igbo man to govern the country as a Nigerian. Responding, Ayim Pius Ayim told the governor and some of his cabinet members that since they have all agreed that the president of Nigeria of Igbo extraction will bring prosperity to the country, he has therefore come to solicit their support. Ayim said that the Nigerian project was a collective one and assured the Abia executive that he was going to the presidency to work for Nigeria, which will include the interests of the South, the East, and the North. Hmm, this is a good one coming from... Though the support for Ayim Pius Ayim is uh, coming from different, you know, direction. You know, when, when, when he announced his intention to become the governor, sorry, the president of Nigeria, he went to the northern part of Nigeria. He got a lot of support from them. He came back to the South, the same thing happened and all of that. And now, Igbezu had all, also joined, despite the fact that there are groups castigating, you know, anyone that supports him and all of that. But, the, you know, the first thing I feel that we should look at is his track record. What has he really done, you know, to the people of uh, uh, his own hometown 
and also to Nigerians. That must come topmost, you know, in our list of consideration. I don't really know much about him when it comes to, you know, what he did when he was a Senate president and when he was uh, the secretary to the federal, to the government of the Federation. I can't really mention the key things, but you know, there is this, um, there's a, someone who came out to talk about how instrumental he was and all of that. But at this point, I'm looking at uh, what most people are, you know, targeting. That's Igbo presidency come 2023. I am of the opinion that the Igbos should forget about argument at this point. The earlier they gather together, and choose the person that will present to the whole world, the better, you know, castigating and impious and him and saying that who is he and all of that will only end up dividing the South and which is not good enough, you know, because right now two things that they have packaged and presented to the government, the release of Mazin Amnikanu and also presidency come 2023. So uh, the, right now, I, I think that... Um, Whatever group that is uh, looking into the issue of 2023 should be going to advocacy now, meeting with different stakeholders, building bridges across the country so that they can garner support for whoever they were they are going to present and not beginning to fight among themselves and all of that. We know that there's someone like Ojuz or Kalu, but though his antecedent, political antecedent, may kind of bring him down and all of that. But he's also a good guy who has the capacity to lead the country. We have other guys. Peter Obi has not formally declared his intention. I don't know if he's still going to stick to the person of uh, Atiku Abubakar. But however, at this point, with what I have seen some Igbo politicians do, clearly shows that they are ready to support whoever that will go for presidency. And it's a good step in the right direction. What I will suggest is that let us come together. Let all the Nibos, Southwesterners or Southeasterners come together and begin to kickstart the campaign. Talk to the ears of people. Let them know that it is the time for you know the Southeast to present a candidate rather than beginning to fight among yourselves and all of that. If anyone from the Southeast goes there as the president, it's to the benefit of all the Southeast, and at least the issue of marginalization has been taken care of. And possibly, who knows, if after everything at the end of the 80 years, he may want to declare Biafra that everybody is really looking up. That's when most uh, Southerners are really looking up to. And, you know, that is just it, then to begin to fight and all of that. Thumbs up to uh, Igbe Zhu, the governor of Abia State, for that level of support he has given. And let's sit back to see if other people will support an empire or something. That's why I like to leave it good.